Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stosny, and welcome to Living and Loving After Betrayal. Betrayal by a loved one is a unique kind of pain. It strikes at the core of our capacity to love. The natural defenses against the pain of betrayal can infect everything we do. Likely to suffer to some extent, family relationships, friendships, work efficiency. After betrayal, it's common to feel unworthy of love and suffer long periods of dull ache or depressed mood punctuated by torrents of anger, shame, guilt, anxiety, grief, and resentment. Intimate betrayal violates the implicit promise that gives us the courage to love. And that's no matter what happens, the person you love and trust will care about your well-being and never intentionally hurt you. That's usually explicit when you're falling in love, but it's always implicit, and that's what gives us the courage to form emotional bonds. Betrayal that violates the promise never to intentionally hurt are things like emotional abuse, verbal aggression, and domestic violence. Failure to care about your well-being, deceit, infidelity, covert misuse of funds. That's when one partner does something with the 401k without the other's knowledge. Continual anger, resentment, criticism, and stonewalling. Betrayal turns life upside down. The initial aftermath is a kind of free fall with no bottom in sight. Shock and disbelief then give way to waves of cruel self-doubt. Was I attractive enough, smart enough, successful, interesting, attentive, caring, patient, sacrificing enough? Self-doubt makes us vulnerable to high emotional reactivity. Almost anything can trigger intense emotional reaction. Scenes in a movie, TV ads, emails, unexpected phone calls, a negative feeling in anyone for any reason, and we react in ways that surprise or startle us. A tragic thing I hear from many who suffer intimate betrayal I don't like the person I've become. It's important that we heal first and repair second. Attempts to repair while you're still hurting are bound to fail. Please understand, you are not damaged. Your relationship is damaged. That's the bridge between you. It feels like you might be damaged personally, but you're not. It's the relationship. Only when well on the way to personal healing can you realistically evaluate your relationship and decide whether attempts to repair are in your best interest.